You see this win, I wanted to get Sean this win. I mean, he pours his heart and soul into uh, this season. And it means a lot to us, and it means a lot to him. And, you know, there were a few calls for Sean in that race where the boat just couldn't really picked up. I mean, we love, we love Sean. <clears throat> We've had a great year. I think you know it, it, it was it was hard work for a long time. Uh, you know it was never never an easy start, and we had to really get everything right before things the gears started to mesh. And uh, it definitely felt like a year that we worked very hard, but you know nobody ever let their heads get down. And uh, as we started to turn the corner in the new year and started to see our progress, and yeah, a really good bunch of guys to work with and a great team all round. So no, I'm, I've had a a really good year, I think, in terms of that. It was a challenge. I think we had some strong guys in the team, but there was a, a real lack of compatibility from a technical point of view. And I think we struggled week in, week out with boats that were just pretty awful, I think. And I think we all knew it, and we, we, we worked systematically through it. And it just took a bit of time to just to get the gears to mesh, start to get combinations that worked. I think we were ready for some very aggressive boxing from Cambridge, and that materialised quite quickly and then, yes it was a tough race for the Coxes, tough race for the umpire uh, and I, you know he did a great job you know it was you're really in a difficult position when you're leading you know you've got everything to lose you know you, the, the other boat has an advantage they can see you, you know, they've got you, you, you're this sort of yeah you're like a target in there. so I think he did it pretty well I think that's an extremely tough day in the office for a Cox to be defending a three-quarter of a length lead against a really big powerful crew that is out for blood, so yeah. It's, it's really difficult, to be quite honest. You know, you put so much into developing the guys and, you know, right now going through a ref reflection of, you know, what could we do better? What could we have done better? What do we need to do better next year? But, you know, I haven't seen the race play out other than a couple of hundred metres behind in the launch. So, you know, I need to look at it. But, uh, you know, really, really proud of the, of, of, of the Cambridge guys. I think they did immensely well to stick in there it could have been easy just to quit and um, these guys are grinders you know they've worked hard for the whole program um, and you know it's just frustrating obviously that you know there's a there's a loser in such a such an amazing race um, you know also deserve to win they're faster on the day the, the cox as much as the athletes has to take the race on and you know he, he's he did that really really well and he guided the crew um, fantastically through the race you know there's some warnings from, from, from uh, for, for both sides, uh, all the way down the track, from what I could tell, um, and um, you know he, he he put himself as it he put the rest of the crew in a position to make the advantage plays that we tried to make. So you know I'm I'm you know proud as proud as the Cox as I am as, as as the athletes. I mean we've worked really hard the last few years, and we haven't always had we haven't had the results we wanted, but we've worked very very hard, and uh, you know it's been tough and um, we've had to be really resilient and we've had to work at every process um, uh, you know, that we can within our organisation and I think, I think today is a, shows, shows the work that's gone in. My first thought when I saw that was we better make it a huge margin so they're not talking about it just being a loss based on them messing up the start. Um, and I think that was a sh thought shared by the whole boat. There was a lot of, we're a very vocal crew and there was a lot of chat down the boat about a bigger margin, keeping up speed and not being enough. Um, and it's obviously more comfortable to be out ahead, but I don't think that changed how we raced in any way. I think um, I sort of switch into autopilot once the race gets going. You have a sense that you're ahead, um, but um, I really like numbers. So as we're edging away, every time we passed a milepost or a different marker, I was, are we further away? Are we edging away more? Um, and sort of working on the things that um, I'm always working on in practice. Uh, I don't think until about 10 strokes before the line I was really sure that we had done it.